Okay, so let's start making our composition. We're going to make a very simple collage in order to explain the concepts and the tips and tricks that I want to share with you. So we're going to go to create new and we're going to make an A4 file. You can find it under print and here you have your presets A4, RGB, it's perfect. So I've also left the resources that we're going to use at the resources tab. So if you want, you can go ahead and download them and do everything as I do and we work together. So this tip that I'm going to share with you, it's when I find a texture, for example, like this one that I really like, I'll drop it on Photoshop and now I'm going to drag and drop it on my canvas and I let go when I'm right on top of the canvas, not anywhere else. And let's say I have this texture that I really like, but I don't want to stretch it because we're going to lose quality. So what I tend to do in this case, if I really like it as it is, I'm going to get the marquee tool with my layer selected and I'm going to select all the parts where the texture doesn't reach, a little bit more there, a bit more here, a little bit more here. And now I'm going to go to edit, fill, and now I make sure that it says content aware and I'm going to press OK. So what Photoshop is doing now is trying to see how to fill out the rest of the page. And it's quite good. But if we need to, this, this doesn't always work this way so perfectly. So if you need to do it again, you can simply go ahead, select the parts you want to change and do it again. But what I do when I have, for example, little details like these ones that I would like to get rid of, it's I use the spot healing uh, tool. And if you check up here, it says content aware too. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a brush, harness quite soft. And now I'm going to just paint on those details that I want to get rid of. And see what happens. It's using the same content aware engine to change these kind of things. So see there are some little points here and there. Always make sure you're looking at it at 100%. That's command one. And if I would like to get rid of all these little things, I actually do like them because it makes it more realistic. For example, this one is too big, so I'm going to get rid of it. So that's how I get a texture without stretching it, without losing quality. And now we have a base for us to start working. So I'm going to just save it and we move on to the next one.